Well, former Vice President Mike Pence is suspending his campaign, but he has not yet thrown his support behind another candidate. He dropped his bid Saturday saying, quote, it's become clear to me this is not my time. And at a time when other would-be contenders are starting to drop out, Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley's numbers are on the rise. With a pair of widely praised debate performances and the national conversation now focused on international affairs, the former U.N. ambassador is seeing a bump in recent polling. And today, Haley back in her home state of South Carolina, where she trails only former President Trump to officially put her name on the primary ballot. Correspondent Brooke Schaefer joins us live. And Brooke, there's now a push from Republicans hoping for a nominee other than Trump to coalesce around Haley. Yeah, and a Republican strategist said today that really it appears that Nikki Haley has the momentum on her side right now. Uh, her team today even touting a new poll that shows the former U.N. ambassador actually tied for second place in the GOP race, tied with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. The two now battling it out really as the alternatives to former President Donald Trump, who you can see from this poll, is really still the far and away leader in the GOP race. But even still, Nikki Haley has become someone to watch. She's tied with Governor DeSantis in that one poll, even beating him in a New Hampshire poll released earlier this month. And that movement, strategists say, is significant because everyone else in her field has had pretty much the same numbers, but Haley is climbing in the polls. Today, the former U.N. ambassador officially filed for the Republican presidential primary ballot in the Palmetto State. Haley, of course, also the former governor of South Carolina. We were there as she made a speech today at the State House. Uh, Haley didn't mention former President Donald Trump by name, but she said this about where the Republican Party has been, really teeing herself up as the contrast. This is not the time to deal with, with old headlines or negativity or vengeance or anything else. This is time for a new generational conservative leader. And as we said earlier, you know, former President Donald Trump is still far and away the leader in the GOP race, leading in some polls by about 30 points. But some say when you're looking at these polls, especially seeing the momentum that Nikki Haley has, you can no longer call this a two-person race between former President Trump and someone like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. And that is because of Nikki Haley. Nicole? Absolutely. And we still have, you know, more than a year till the actual election. So we'll see what happens. All right, Brooke Schaefer, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.